Now, tributes have been paid to former Midlands boxing star Errol Christie, who has died from lung cancer aged 53. Uh, a big name in the 1980s, Errol Christie, who grew up in Coventry, was once listed in the Guinness Book of Records as the only British boxer to win 10 amateur titles. Matt Till looks back. Oh, right on the button. This fellow's not going to last long. No, it's all over. He was the golden boy of ITV boxing. As a young middleweight in the 1980s, Errol Christie was a regular star of the channel's fight night programme. He came down here, he was mouthing off, he was saying, who's this Christie, and things like that, annoying me sort of thing. And I think they would annoy anybody, and it's, I just went in there just to get it over as quick as I could. A prolific amateur, he had a reputation for knocking out his opponents. A contemporary of Chris Eubank and Frank Bruno, Christie was the 1983 British amateur middleweight champion. After turning pro, he won his first 13 fights, 12 inside the distance. But he also suffered some memorable defeats. The build-up to his loss to Mark Kaler at Wembley in 1985 was ugly and took place against a backdrop of racism in the sport that Christie would go on to campaign against. Can we fight you as well? <laughs> After he retired in 1993, Christie turned his hand to everything from stand-up comedy to market trading. He was a bouncer, a personal trainer to the stars, and went into schools to educate children about the dangers of knife crime. His death prompted some of the biggest names in the sport to pay tribute on social media. Frank Bruno tweeted, God rest his soul, such a talented man. Chris Eubank said, one of the old masters of boxing has passed away. I sparred with him many times in our early 20s. He was a sweetheart. Errol's nephew, Cyrus Christie, who plays football for Derby County, said legends never die. Rest in peace, uncle. You're not in pain anymore. A little bit of by play at the start. Errol Christie passed away last night, two years after being diagnosed with lung cancer. His career may not quite have reached the heights on the world stage many thought it would, but to those in the know, he takes his place alongside the greats of British boxing. Matt Teal, ITV News.